In this video series, you're going to learn how to create a simple WordPress membership site using a free plugin that's been modified so that the IPN part of it works and integrates smoothly with PayPal. Now the first step is going to be to install WordPress. So there are two ways to do this. You can do it using Fantastico or you can do it the manual way and I'm going to show you how to do both. First, if you sign into your cPanel, if you have cPanel access, your cPanel may look slightly different, but if you have Fantastico, this is the easiest way to do it. We'll click on Fantastico, and then click on WordPress down the left side here. And then you'll see a new installation, so click on that. Up here you have your domain name where you're going to install it. And here you have a folder name. If you put something in a folder name, then it will be installed in a subdirectory. In other words, the domain here is the best info on info. And if I put demo in here, then the URL to this WordPress blog will be the best info on info slash demo. If I wanted it to be in the home page, just inside the best info on info, I would leave this install directory blank. Next, you need to give it your administration username and password. So we'll just go with admin. I'll make this secure if you can. I'm just going to use password so that I can remember it. But don't use that on your own WordPress blog. Down here, you have your admin nickname. So you could use your own name here or whatever you want. We'll just use admin. The admin email address you put in here. The site name, you just put it in here. So I just put in WordPress membership site demo. And then you can have a description or a tagline down here. Okay, and we'll install WordPress. Next page comes up, tells you that it's going to create a database and it shows you where it's going to put it. Click finish installation. And now your WordPress blog is installed. So if we click right here, this is the back end part. And now we can sign in with admin and password. And then we're into the back end of our WordPress blog and everything's set up and ready to proceed. Okay, now that's the easy way. Now let's look at installing it using the files themselves. To install it manually, you need to go to wordpress.org. Then you can download WordPress 2.51 or whatever the current version is at the time by clicking this link here and download it to your computer. So just go ahead and download it to your desktop or somewhere where you want it to reside. I suggest that you get the zip install. And now that we have it downloaded, we're going to unzip it and then we will upload the files to our server. So just unzip the zip file that you have. Most newer computers have a built-in unzip function. All you have to do is click on the zip file. It'll unzip it for you and then this is what you'll see. Okay, so let's just go inside there. And these are all the files that you're going to upload up to your server. So what you need to do now is you need to have an FTP client. What you see in front of you now is an FTP client called FileZilla. And you can get that at FileZilla-project.org. Here it is here. And you can just download the client. Okay, so let's go back to FileZilla. Now to use this, on one side you have your local site and the other side you have your remote site and just swap files back and forth. So what we need to do is we need to set up our server. Let's go into File and Site Manager. And then this is where your sites are. So create a new site and then you give it the host name which is your domain name where your hosting account is. And down here, you want to 
set your login type. So here you would put your username and your password that you log into your hosting account with. And once you've done that, you just click connect. Okay. Now you see that our server is over on this side. So we just double click there and then we find where our web documents are on this server. They're in public underscore HTML. Your server may be different. And if you don't know where that is, you need to find out from your server provider. Okay. And then you can move these things up and down by grabbing a hold of them, hold down your left mouse button and moving them around. So what we want to do is we're going to make a new folder and we'll just right click here, click create directory, and then we'll call this uh, demo two. I'm not actually going to use this. I'm just using this to give you an example here. So we'll go up we'll find demo two, we'll double click on that. Then over here on our local site, we need to find our files that we want to upload. So first of all, we'll just go to our C drive and then we'll track it down from there. Okay, and then you just go ahead and you tree down to where your files are that you want to upload. Okay, so here we are. We'll go inside WordPress. These are all the files that we want to download here. So all we have to do is click on one of these and then do a select all by holding down the control key and then click in the letter A. Then if you right click here, you just click upload. You'll notice that they went down into the queue down here. And if you look on the right side, things are now being uploaded to our server. Okay, so now that everything's uploaded, let's go and install it. So let's go to our browser. Then we'll type in the URL to that site. So the best info on dot info in this case slash demo two. Okay, it's telling us that it needs to create a configuration file. Now what we want to do is we're going to make a directory writable so that it can do this. So let's go back to FileZilla. And then let's go to just go up one directory here. Find demo two. Right click on it. And then click on file attributes. Just temporarily give this 777. Click OK. Go back to here, Just click create a configuration file. And now it's going to want our database information. So we have to go to the C panel again, and then we have to create a MySQL database. Just click on that. And then we'll go down here and we're going to create a database. So let's just call this demo2. Create the database. Then we need to create a username and password for that. So create users and just call it demo2 as our username. And then you would select a secure password here, but I'm just going to use demo2 to keep things easy. I don't suggest that you do that though. Okay, then click go back. Now what we need to do is attach the database to the password. So go down and to here and out of the drop down list, you would get demo2 and demo2. Make sure they have all as the privileges and then add user to database. Okay now up here we now have database demo2 and you'll see that it has our a prefix on it which is usually our hosting information. You're going to need this whole thing so here's our database name so copy this and then we're going to click on let's go over here the database name, so we'll paste that in there. Our username, which in this case is the same. As you can see here. 
copy that whole string in there. Our password, we just said is demo2. There's no prefix on that. Database host is, is localhost, and that's almost always going to be right. You can check that by rolling to the bottom here, and you'll see localhost. So that's correct. Our table prefix, we'll just leave as WP underscore. We'll click Submit. Now all we got to do is click run the installation. Okay, so now we give our uh, title, so we'll just call it, again, whatever. We'll just call it WordPress demo. Then you put your email in here. And then decide if you want your blog to be in the search engines by clicking that, click install WordPress. Says WordPress has been installed. Username is admin. There's your password. Copy that into your clipboard. This has also been emailed to the email address you put in there. So click login. Now click admin. Paste your password in here. Click login. Now the first thing I would do is I would go and I would change my password to something you can remember. And click Update Profile. Okay, so now we have our blog installed the manual way. Okay, so now we should go back to FileZilla have to reconnect here. Okay, and then go back to where our site resides, which is in demo two, and right click, and then file attributes. And then you need to turn this to 755 again, otherwise it's wide open to the world. 755, and you can use the check marks as well to do that. And the permissions now changed. Okay, so that's how you install it the manual way. In the next video, we'll continue with setting up our membership site now that we have our site created.